What is going on you guys? We are going over the first customizations you should be doing on your new Canon R6 coming up. We have seven in this list that I'm going to get to, and the first one is actually two. So we have 1.1 and 1.2. 1.1, and that is using the joystick to move the AF function. And as you fire and use it, there's another one, 1.2, which is using the touch and drag settings. I'll let you decide which one is best for you, but it's something that you can customize. And what the joystick will do is it moves the AF point around in one shot very quickly, actually, which is very nice because usually I feel like it just kind of like lags behind the speed it needs to be. And it's like tick, tick, tick. But this one goes whoop, 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 and it's there. The touch and drag does the exact same thing, except you're touching and dragging when your face is up to the viewfinder. Your decision on which one works best for you, but they're both good options. The joystick option can be found and operated under the orange camera under the number three option for button adjustments, and the touch and drag settings can be found under AF number one. Next up is customizing your copyright settings, and this helps you so that your copyright information is already being put in the metadata for every photo you take. So if your photos end up somewhere they shouldn't, you have your copyright information. When I bought my R second hand, I didn't change the copyright information, and so the previous owner took about 5,000 photos that he never took. So go ahead and change that when you get and pick up your new camera. The copyright information adjustments can be found under the wrench number five. So I hardly ever use the AF button, whereas a sports photographer would use it all the time. I enjoy using the point autofocus a lot and eye focus, and I kind of switch between those two, sometimes rather rapidly depending on what it is, and switching the AF on to simply being eye focus instead of, you know, the one shot, then it's good to go. When I want to shoot something that's an inanimate object, I want to sp choose specifically where it is, I use the regular shutter, and when I want to shoot somebody's face, I just simply use the autofocus. And this is also the section where you can really get into all your dials and what you want them to do and everything, and I feel like there's an expanded number of options that you have in comparison to the Canon EOS R in this camera for customizations. Next up is for the auto ISO. Now this is super nice when you're running around an event and you just want to be able to focus on what type of shutter speed you need and what type of aperture you need. And I find that especially outside, the Canon R6 overexposes all of my highlights. So what I've done is when I put it on auto, I also put the compensation down one stop and that usually fixes about, I'd say 90% of the problems that this camera has overexposing when in auto ISO. Now this next one is a plug over to another video right there that you can go watch, or actually it's probably right there, that you can go watch for customizing all of your viewfinder settings. Right over there, go check it out. Next up is the autofocus assist beam, the AF assist firing beam thing, the red beam of death. You just wanna go turn that off because if you're taking photos of people, if they just don't like being beamed in the eye with red lights. It doesn't turn out for very good photos when they squint because they're getting beamed in the face and it gets you invited back to a lot more events. And the final one is something that I messed up horribly when I was shooting for a event and a wedding is that I thought I was writing to both cards. So you have to go and turn on write to both cards in the settings. You will not be able to write to both cards in video format, but you will be able to for your photos. And that can be found under the wrench number one options. You can go in there and choose however you would like your cards to be written to. So my name is Daniel and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to learn more tips, tricks, tutorials on how to use your Canon R6 better. I have a course for beginners down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care.